Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I have taken a three week break. I don't think I've taken three weeks off since maybe I've started YouTube like seven and a half years ago. Maybe I did whenever I had my babies, maybe. It was a nice break. I had my parents visiting from Canada and we had like three days of summer here in Northern Ireland. So we took advantage of that and it's been really lovely, but I am back to filming and I have been getting requests on Instagram to film a heat proof, just very simple makeup tutorial. And so that's what today's makeup look is. Also, I feel like a couple of things have happened since I filmed last with Pearl Beauty. We've launched some more products, which will be featured in this video. And I went a little bit more of a coppery strawberry blonde. It's definitely faded because that was three weeks ago that I got it done. It was just a toner on top of a whole bunch of highlights. I have a reel on Instagram with the exact details that Danielle, my hairdresser did, but I'm loving it. I feel like this is the color I was meant to be my whole life. That's dramatic, but I'm really liking it. Anyways, this is the longest intro ever. Let's just get right into the tutorial. Okay, we're starting off with skin. The whole point to summer essential makeup or heat proof makeup is layers and minimalism when it comes to applying those layers because the heavier the makeup, it just, the more chances it's gonna melt off your face with the heat. If you follow me on Instagram, I literally rave about this SPF non-stop. This is my fourth tube, I believe. It is a refillable packaging. So this part, there we go. This part comes out so you can just buy the inserts whenever you have initially purchased it. You just have to buy the inserts after that, which is a great sustainable option. This is not an ad. I'm just really passionate about this SPF because I always had breakouts from using SPF. And then I found this about two years ago now, year and a half, and it's my everyday holy grail SPF. Absolutely love it. It's, I think, SPF 50 too, so it's a good one. Anyways, I'm gonna take a couple pumps of that. You can see there's a little bit of a peachy tint and I like to put it mostly, obviously all over my face, but mostly in areas that the sun really does get my face on so my forehead and across my nose under my eyes. Those are my top areas that the sun can get a little bit feisty. Next, this is optional. This is based on like what you prefer on your skin in the summer. If I want a little bit more coverage, like I'm not just doing full on beach day, I'm not around anyone, just my family. Fine, I'll probably leave it there, a little bit of concealer, call it a day. But if I'm going to like a summer event or hanging out with friends, family in the summer, with more of an occasion attached. I'm gonna bring a little bit of a foundation in, but this is where you need to be very specific. It needs to be long lasting. It needs to be thin in consistency, but it can build in areas that you want it. So I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever HD Skin. I have it in the shade 2Y20, or it says in brackets Y305. Instead of going right onto my face and maybe putting too much product, I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and then dot it on my face where I want a little bit of coverage. Starting with that, and then I'm gonna take a beauty sponge, beauty blender, and start buffing that out. So then I'm starting in like really thin layers and I'm totally in control, and we're not getting too cakey. You wanna keep it very minimal, but discreet. You don't want cakiness on your face because it's literally it will just melt off. If you're an oily skin girl, which naturally means your pores are a little bit more exposed, those are gonna be heightened in the warmer months because you're producing oil a little bit more, the heat. It's just so much fun for us, isn't it? I tend to hold back a lot more around my T-zone. I don't go heavy with coverage. So I start on my cheeks, like you noticed, I put the dots on my cheeks and blend out. And then with whatever's left, I start to blend in. I find my makeup lasts a lot longer and I'm not getting oilier, if that makes sense. Moving on to concealer, I honestly love this concealer, the Kosas Revealer. I have it in 2.5 Cool. If I'm being totally honest, this is probably a little bit too light for me in the summer, but we move forward. I'm gonna use a very small amount because again, in the summer I find if I'm squinting in the sun or anything like that, creasing can happen, especially like in this area. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in the inner corner of my eye, literally a dot. I'm not gonna even put any on the outer corner of my eye just because of that squinting if I take off my sunglasses because sometimes sunglasses just give me a headache. I'm gonna use my finger to blend this in. Actually, I'm gonna take this little setting spray from It Cosmetics. It's the Your Skin But Better setting spray. And it says, well, it claims 16 hours of wear, which is probably reduced in the summer because of the heat, but it's small, handy, so you can keep it in your handbag if you just want like a little refresh because there's coconut water in it. It smells so good. 
You can see the minimal change over from this eye to this eye not being blended out, really keeping it in that inner corner where I'm blending up and around, and then the most minimal amount on the outer corner, just blending in so that we're not getting any creasing. I'm also not very heavy with powdering under my eyes in the summer because again, the more products, the more chances it's just gonna crease, clump, melt, all that stuff you don't want. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I haven't really filmed for like three weeks. I had my family over, took a little bit of a break. It's summertime. I feel like people aren't really online watching videos as much, hopefully. <laughs> Anyways, we launched at Pearl Beauty our very highly anticipated cream bronzers and cream highlighters. And it has been going so well. All of you have been absolutely loving them. I've been using it since January. Literally, I brought it to Florida, my first sample, and the shade Light was the first confirmed color and formula. And I'm just so happy that it's out because now all of you can see what I've been talking about. I'm obsessed. So just like I've been using secretly and maybe not so secretly for the last six months, I'm gonna take Pearl Beauty's Cream Bronzer in Light. This is the same depth as Fair, it's just a completely different undertone. So if you're a little bit more cool and have that pinky blue undertone, Fair is gonna be your girl because it's not very orangey. It's like a neutral beige undertone, it's beautiful. This one is light, which has a little bit more of an orange undertone or warm, if you will. It's not as offensive sounding as orange. It is the perfect summer color. If you want a little bit more of that bronzy vibe, it is a balmy consistency. So I use our, the one multi-purpose brush, which is literally a dream in a brush. It is so perfect for blending out creams and liquids. I use it for this balm bronzer though every single day. It is perfection in all those areas on my cheekbones, my forehead, across my nose, down my neck. Again, you're never gonna get cakiness out of this because it's such a thin consistency. I'm obsessed, obviously you can hear it in my voice, but we're just going all over with the Pearl Beauty Light Cream Bronzer. I'm obsessed with that. It just gives a natural glow, color, definition, everything you want in a cream bronzer, plus longevity. Now, because I want to reduce any oil on my face for as long as possible, I'm gonna take a translucent powder and just keep it in the center of my face, that T-zone area around my nose and my nose, forehead, and on my chin. This will reduce the oil production throughout the day. It's inevitable in the summer, but this just helps reduce it. I didn't mention the brand or the powder because it's coming later this year. I'm gonna take a little bit of Pearl Beauty Put Together Blush. This is just like a, you don't have to think about blush color, that perfect medium rose, putting it on the high parts of my cheek and blending it to the apples of my cheek and across my nose, my temples, my eyelids. It's literally that go-to color that you can't mess up. It's fuss-free, user-friendly, long-lasting, and gives the perfect amount of color that I want on my face. And lastly for skin, I'm gonna take our new cream highlighter from Pearl Beauty in Sunkissed. This is a really beautiful light sheer pink. It just, oh, I'm just gonna let you see what it does. Like, you know that I don't love intense, in your face, glittery highlighters, and this just emulates your skin to the most beautiful glow from within, it's perfection. If you wanted not so much of a makeup-y summer look, I would finish here with a little bit of lip balm, but if you wanna elevate it ever so slightly, I'm gonna go in with mascara. Okay, normally I would take the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara right now because I know it works in summer, those hot days, it doesn't flake or you know transfer on me, but I recently bought this Rimmel Thrill Seeker, it's the Wonder Volume Thrill Seeker, and it's new from Rimmel and so many people are raving about it. Some are ads, some aren't. So I want to like like it because when I see some of the girls where I'm like, oh yeah, that looks really good. But when I first wore it, I will say it didn't transfer, which is definitely a big plus for me. But to be called Thrill Seeker, I'm expecting like volume and length. It's thrilling, right? It was very um, boring, I guess. Like it was so minimal and like the most natural look I've ever had in a mascara. So I'm gonna try again and I'm gonna try and pump it up with a couple more coats. Don't mind my application. I am the world's messiest mascara applicator. Applicator? Applier? Applier. This is like the normal amount I'd probably wear on an everyday basis. And like it is pretty, don't get me wrong. I like it and I like that it obviously doesn't smudge. But to be called Thrill Seeker, you know what I'm trying to say? Maybe I'll get thrilling in like two more coats. So let's keep going. Okay, that's two more coats. So that's like three and a half coats in total. And don't get me wrong, I think it looks really lovely, but still more on the natural side. Like if I did three and a half coats of Hourglass Unlocked or some other mascaras that are a little bit more volumizing, we'd be up to my eyebrows right now. Am I going crazy? Do you think this is a thrilling mascara? 
I'm only saying that because the name is Thrill Seeker, so yeah. Anyways, it doesn't smudge, so I know I can get reliability out of it, which is important to me. We're gonna move on to our lips. I'm gonna take an old favorite. This is the Urban Decay 1993 Lip Liner. It's just like a nice beigey brown shade. Outlines your lips. You can overline a little bit if you'd like. Blend it out with your fingers so it's not a harsh line. You can totally leave it here, a little bit of gloss, lip balm, or nothing, just keep it as is. And this would be the finished look. You know you're gonna get longevity out of it. It's not gonna melt off your face. I feel put together, cute, love it. But it is summer and I'm just drawn to this lip color. I love this formula of the Kat Von D what are they called? The Nourishing Vegan Butter Lipsticks. This one though, it's like a fuchsia pink. Also it's in the shade Growl with like three R's. Okay, I'm gonna start just in the center of my lip. It is a, it's a bright pink, so I don't wanna overdo it. I'm gonna kind of treat it as like a stain, really buffing that into my lip. Whatever's left on my finger, I'm just gonna tap onto my cheeks to bring the look together. Okay, this is it. I'm glad I went with that color because I feel like it just adds a little bit of excitement to a very simple look. I know this is very much an everyday look, but that is really the focus of my channel, just everyday makeup looks with different products every so often, but this will last you in the heat, especially if you're oily skin. It's just a makeup essential, heat proof look. So let me know what you wanna see in the comments down below. I'm glad to be back filming and I feel rested after that little break. I'll link all products used as always. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.